हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड मेरी क्रिसमस टू यू ऑल होप यूर ऑल एंजॉइंग टू डे सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी जस्ट पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग ऑफ हाउ दिस पर्सन थिंग्स अबाउट यू हाउ दे फील अबाउट यू ऑन क्रिसमस एंड एस्पेशली इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ मैसेज फ्रॉम योर पर्सन और यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट अ लेटर फ्रॉम योर पर्सन ओके ऑन दिस क्रिसमस how are they feeling about you how are they thinking about you and do they still have emotions for you everything will be revealed by these letters so you just have to pick one or you can pick two so the first letter is the gold star one the second is the blue star and the third one is the red star so you can choose one from these three or you can choose two from these three it's totally your wish so please choose and i will get back to you guys and also uh, there will be a general reading after this video for your uh, if you're a scorpio then there will be a scorpio reading and the time stamps i will give it right here on the screen okay so the place where the video begins the time stamp will be here on the screen and you can uh, forward it to that and watch if you don't want a letter from your person on this christmas so now i will just begin with the reading guys okay so i will just start off with the letter number 1 with the gold star guys okay so let us see what is coming up what is the message this person has for you guys with the gold star for those of you who chose the gold star okay i will just read out this message for you guys now hello my love merry christmas how are you i hope your life is much better than mine i have made a wrong decision and the universe has shown me that coming to you is the right thing Our relationship is much more than a physical connection and this is a spiritual bond. I do believe in it now. I'm really sorry for telling you to go away or letting you go away, leaving you. It is the biggest mistake I have made. I hope you didn't give up on our beautiful connection. I hope every day that you are stay you will stay with me and I am thinking about you always. I'm really sorry. I don't want anyone else. I just want you and only you and always and forever. I hope you will accept me soon. So this is the message from your person. I will read it once again, guys, in case um for some of you if you didn't understand me or anything. How are you? I hope your life is much better than mine. I made a wrong decision and the universe has shown me that coming to you is the right thing. Our relationship is much more than a spiritual and much more than a physical connection. It is a spiritual bond. I do believe in it now. I'm really sorry for letting you go, leaving you. It is the biggest mistake I have made. I hope you didn't give up on our beautiful connection. I hope every day that you stay with me at least thinking about me i'm really sorry i don't want anyone else i just want you and only you and our bond to last forever and ever and after so yes guys this is the message that this person has for you as you can see like this person is showing how much love they have for you guys maybe they just regret leaving you they just regret letting you go or leaving you they didn't want uh, something like that to happen and they really feel bad for whatever has happened in this connection that they feel with you guys okay that is what the letter is all about how much this person is regretting how much they're missing you how much they want to come towards you have a union with you again because they don't want anybody else they want you because they've seen everybody else and seen how people are reactive how people are understanding them and you understand them more than anybody else and the universe if you can see the universe also showed them that this is a spiritual connection so this person is starting to realize certain things on this christmas so yes guys this is the message i have for you guys and i hope this reading really 
encouraged you on your spiritual journey it makes you happy every day please make sure to help me to to like and subscribe to my channel it would be a great help and also turn on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a reading okay so yes guys thank you all so much now i'll be moving on to the pile number two so those of you who chose this star the blue star this is the message or the letter this person has for you guys let us find out what this person wants to tell you how they're feeling about this relationship with you <clears throat> okay so let me just start hi my love how are you i'm in a misery i'm not able to do anything without you by my side I look at our pictures, it keeps me alive. Our memories and thinking about you makes me happy. And I always imagine my life with you. I want to come make you mine. I cannot wait anymore. I'm really sorry if you feel things are being rushed. But the truth is, I don't want this life if it is not with you. Because you are in my thoughts every single minute and second of the day. I can't stop thinking about you and I can't move on from you. Let's get back together. I know you feel the same way about us. Let's meet up again and this time I will put you in I'll put all my efforts to love you and make you smile every single second of the day. So that is a beautiful message from this person. Let me just read it again, guys. Hello my love. Merry Christmas. How are you? I'm in a misery. I'm able to I'm not able to do anything without you by my side. I look at the pictures, it keeps me alive, our memories and thinking about you makes me happy. And I always imagine my life with you. I want to come back and make you mine. I cannot wait anymore. I'm really sorry if you feel things are being rushed. But the truth is, I don't want this life if it is not with you. Because you are in my thoughts every single minute and second of the day. I can't stop thinking about you and I cannot move on from you. Let us get back together. I know you feel the same way about us. Let's meet up again. And this time, I will put all my efforts to love you and to make you smile every single second of the day. Wow, guys. Isn't this message so emotional? This person definitely, uh, if you can see with the message itself they do love you too much that they cannot let go of you and they want probably your apology too they want to apologize to you and this is it my lovelies who chose the blue star and if this message resonated with you guys and if it made you happy or if it really uh, made you cry definitely i'm getting emotional here so yes guys so uh, please make sure to comment and like and give my video a thumbs up because that would really support me and help me on my journey so yes guys um thank you all so much for those who chose the pile number two the blue star i will see you all tomorrow or please kind of skip to the reading directly if you don't want to watch uh anymore okay so yes I will be moving on to the pile number three now for those who chose the pile number three with a red star let us just find out what is coming up for you guys those who chose the red star the message or the letter from this person my love forever hi my love forever you are my everything I don't even know how to start. Whatever I did to you was horrible. I'm so guilty and I regret every single word I spoke harsh to you and I regret everything that I did to you. I cannot even ask you to forgive me because I know I make a deadly mistake. I cannot take anything back but if I had a last a time machine, I would change everything and I would make 
I will marry you, have kids and have a happy life with you and the kids. I just love you too much. I really don't know what to do. I'm just only wanting to stay with you forever. I don't want anything else in the world. I'm begging you to forgive me and to accept me because without you, I am no more. So I will just read this message again, guys, in case. I don't even know how to start. Whatever I did to you was horrible. I'm so guilty and I regret every single word I spoke harsh to you and every single thing that I did to you. I cannot even ask you to forgive me because I know I made a deadly mistake. I cannot take anything back, but if I had a time machine, I would change everything and I would marry you, have kids and have a happy life with you and the kids. I just love you too much and I really don't know what to do about it. I just only want you. I'm begging you to forgive me and accept me because without you, I'm no more. So yes guys as you can see this person has uh, went through a lot of life-changing events for example a lot of karmic cycles to be honest and that is why they're having such strong emotions when it comes to your relationship they're having such strong feelings for you such strong emotions for you because they faced a lot in this uh separation state while you are in the separation state with this person they just faced a lot and definitely i can see here that this person doesn't want to face all that anymore that is the main reason for this message okay so and this is it guys this is all i have for you guys now i will be just starting off with a reading like i usually do so let me just hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovely cancers and merry christmas to you all hope you're all enjoying christmas so let's just start off the reading today for you guys my lovely cancers for your general energies first and then we will be moving on to your love energies if you didn't watch my um, a letter from your person reading that bonus reading for Christmas please make sure to watch that because um, I don't know guys in some of those uh, letters I just cried it gave me a lot of emotions I don't know why maybe it, it, it's a message meant for you so please go watch that if you feel drawn to that now I'll just start off the reading cancers for your general energies cancer so what is coming up for you guys we have the gratitude cancers you're going to be thanking the people for giving you the lo love that you are deserving now you are going to be in that thanking energy we also have the ownership and the evolution so today is a day where you're going to feel like you are evolving as a person with the gratitude, I can definitely see that today is going to be a very fair day for you guys. Everything is going to be proper. Everything is going to turn out according to your expectations. Things are going to go just like you always hoped it would go. With the ownership card, I can definitely see for that today. You guys are going to be more focused on yourselves. You, If you want something, you want it. So that can be a negative character, but... It is also like a childish character so you're not going to give up on certain things that you want so you're going to stay with some things that you want so if you want something you want it for yourself you're not going to share it with anyone and today is the day why you feel like a person like a person who is improving him or herself whether it be on a physical emotional spiritual whatever it is you just feel that evolution within you okay and you're going to realize you're going to get that realization for your past mistakes for your past doings and you're going to try to undo all of these things okay for example you're going to realize the mistakes that you did in the past and you're going to realize and you're going to try to what to say improve that your present situation okay 
so this is all i can say here for your general energies guys let us see what is moving uh what is coming up for your love energies what is coming up for your love energies cancers anything new coming up for this person's energies let us just find out cancers what is coming up for your love energies cancers Wow, we have the Tower card, the Empress card, we also have the Hierophant card. Wow, guys. Cancers, I never thought these cards would appear for you guys. This is amazing. I mean, like, the energy that I get from these cards is just too hectic, to be honest. You are in that hectic journey. You're in a journey why it is really draining out your energies, cancers, you are really feeling drained. And end of the day, it is teaching you a lot of lessons. But anyway, the journey is draining. Okay, that is what I can see here. It is teaching you a lot of lessons. It is helping you improve. But also the major energy that I can get out for today is that it's draining you. This relationship is draining you guys. Okay. And also Cancer, so I can see that this person, they see you as someone who uh, will always be there in their heads. They are not able to forget you or they're not able to let go of you even though they want to. Even though they want to so deeply let go of you or to get rid of your thoughts, get rid of your energies, they're not able to. So there is a difference. When someone forces themselves to forget you and someone has forgotten you in the course of journey there is a difference because this person did truly love you at one point of their lives and guys i can definitely see here so what i can see here for you cancers is that this person cannot get you out of their lives even though you guys are separated they are not able to forget you they're not able to get you out of their head it can even be like this person is connected to you and energetically they, they are so drawn to you energetically that is making them come towards you on a different angle okay that is not letting them forget you that is not letting them let go of you so this energetically pulling them towards you guys that is what i can see here this person and you might not be together right now you might be far away from each other but there is some kind of energy or magnetic pull that is happening within you that is pulling this person towards you or at least their thoughts, their memories that you share. Everything is like repeating again and again in this person's head and it is just really magical for this person. They, they're thinking like, I'm trying to forget this person, I'm going out with others, but I'm not able to forget no matter what I do. So this is how this person's thinking about you, feeling when it comes to a relationship with you. And yes, guys, that is what I can see here with these cards, my lovely cancers. They cannot get you out of their thoughts. No matter what they do, what they manifest, it is really, really hectic. And it's really, really hard for them to get you out of their head. Okay. So, bye guys. See you all tomorrow, my lovely cancers. This is the message for you guys. And I hope this really helped you or you really liked it. And bye guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye.